pleasant good day once again, and welcome back to our channel. As usual, it's my pleasure to come before you every week to do another YouTube presentation. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And as usual, I greet you in our customary way. I, Emo Ramesses Bakari, your psychologist and life coach from the magical community of Point Fourteen in Trinidad and Tobago, located in the Southern Caribbean. It is my desire to inspire you to rise higher. It is my desire to stir the fire inside of your belly so that you will stand up against oppression. It is my desire to inspire you that you will withstand any challenge that comes your way. And it is my desire to partner with you in 2024 to ensure that all of your dreams or most of your dreams become a reality. And this will be done through counseling, through coaching, through motivational speaking, through feature addresses, through teaching, and through writing. Because after all, you, yes you, are deserving of the best possible support and becoming the best possible versions of yourself. And we are prepared to partner with you to ensure that these things become a reality. So as usual, we remind you to support our services. We offer counseling, we offer coaching, we offer ongoing courses, for example, the Fundamentals of Psychology, a 10 weeks course, course in three hundred dollars. We offer a four weeks course entitled The Fundamentals of Public Speaking, course in $1,200 for students, and $1,800 for the general public. We offer another four weeks course entitled The Mastering Emotional Intelligence, course in $1,800 for students, and $2,500 for the general public. We also um, have books on sale. My book, Conversation, price of 100 TT, 45 BC, or 15 United States dollars. We also have in the year of George Week, 1962 to 1987, cost 150. Uh, Understanding and Remembrance, here of James, cost 140 TT, and a tribute to African civilization, at 100 TT. So whether it's partaking in a course, whether it's booking a counseling and coaching appointment, or buying any of the advertised books, all you've got to do is give us a call at 1-866-778-5141, 1-866-779-2111, or email us at leadershipwithadifference at gmail.com. You can also support us by contributing through our VIP link and Patreon links at the bottom of the videos. Patreon.com at Emo Bakari should be an easy way for you to contribute because we want to grow, we want to improve the channel, we want to do much more. We also want to encourage 85% of persons who view our channel on a regular basis and have not subscribed. Your subscription will be very helpful to us. Your longer viewing of the videos will be very helpful to us. Your liking and sharing and commenting will be very helpful to us. And of course, any level of contribution will be vitally important for us to keep this channel improving and growing. So we call out those who are subscribed, those who have not yet subscribed, to partake in our work, to support us fully as we partner to become a force to be reckoned with. So the presentation or the motivational word for today is let no one define who you are and how you should function in terms of your journey in life. Let no one define who you are but yourself. And that definition should guide how you function in life. Because after all, you know yourself better than anyone else. And it is your responsibility to have a very clear definition and sense of purpose about what you are, who you are, what you are about, and to execute it to the best of your ability. So I encourage you to do that and to walk along the path to making your dreams a reality. So the presentation today is entitled, Does Intelligence Rule the World? I repeat, Does Intelligence Rule the World? And I was inspired to talk about this by uh, viewing a, a quote from that great philosopher, activist, intellectual, entrepreneur, Marcus Mosiah Garvey, 
who was born on August 17th, 1887, and died in 1940, living for a period of 53 years. At that period of his life, he touched the world in such a manner that his works live on and his impact has lived on across the Caribbean, in Central America, South America, in Africa, in Europe, in North America. You know, his name will continue to be called among the masses, in university halls, you name it. And several books have been written about him. And there are people you know, throughout the Caribbean, in North America, even to the day, they find themselves as Gaviites because his contribution was monumental. You know, he, he, he espoused a philosophy and he also tried to back it up in terms of, you know, you know forming a shipping line, forming a newspaper, etc., and encouraging unity among Africans at home and Africans abroad. And he was well known for his famous st statement, one aim, one Africa, one destiny. So the statement that he made that motivated me to do this topic, he said, you know, intelligence rules the world and ignorance carries the burden. And as far as possible, strive to be intelligent and as far as possible, remove yourself from ignorance. A very profound statement and a statement I could relate to. Why is intelligence can be defined in different ways, you know, it's important that we, we use our God given intelligence to make ourselves stronger human beings. But when we look at a lot of uh, events happening before our eyes, in this world in which we inhabit, I am asking the question where is the intelligence? If individuals or if nations has to make a point by the use of force, my question is where? is the intelligence. If the only way or a consistent way that many nations make a point through bombs and missiles, my question, where is the intelligence? When we look at a, a lot of other situations where, you know, people have been projected or sold to the world, in a particular way. And certainly, when you do the research, when you draw the empiricals, you recognize it's a lie. For example, one of Africa's greatest leaders, Muammar Gaddafi, was presented and promoted as a terrorist. But many in Africa and out of Africa knew him to be a very uh, unique humanitarian, but yet, he was taken out, even though his intention was all about building humanity and creating a better life for the citizens of his country and even for their faith. When nations can tell other nations that do what they say as a form of being democratic and not allow the nations to decide that for themselves, my question is, where is the intelligence? When we look at a lot of evil that we see before our eyes and promoted as smart, my question is, where is the intelligence? Where selflessness is promoted as sinfulness, my question is, where is the intelligence? When greed supersedes most other aspirations among many, individually, nationally, regionally, and globally, my question is, where is the intelligence? With the resources of the world, why can't the brains of the world, which means all of us, not put our minds together to ensure that there is less suffering, but with the grief of power, with the, with the, with the, with the, the greed for economic dominance and with the short-sighted view that many have, with their grab so much 
not realizing that all that they are grabbing at will remain long after they are gone. And my question, where is the intelligence? So why is I agree with the very powerful statement made by our great ancestor and philosopher, Marcus Mosiah Gavi, about the need to seek intelligence? I have to painfully conclude that the intelligence that Gavi speaks about certainly is running second to the ignorance that rules this world. So let us try, those of us who consider ourselves intelligent, let us try not to disappoint Marcus Mosiah Let us think about that question and let us ensure that what we do and say do not fall into the realm of ignorance that certainly will not bring about a newer and better society. So once again, I believe in your intelligence. I thank you for listening. I thank you for viewing. I know you will support us by subscribing if you have not done that. I know you will comment, like, and share our videos. I know you will watch the videos for longer periods of time. You will encourage friends and families to become subscribers. And again, the 85% of persons who watch the videos and don't subscribe, we depend on you to become subscribers. We depend on you who are subscribers and those who become sub subscribers to support us by contributing, either by partaking in our courses, by booking a counseling and coaching appointment, by contributing through the YP link or the patreon.com slash account. Any manner of contribution will be accepted, appreciated, and it will help us to further develop the channel. We come to you, we believe in your intelligence, and all we ask of you is to give us a call at one 8 one eight six eight seven seven nine two five four four, or email us at leadership with a difference at gmail.com. So we thank you for listening and stay tuned to another powerful presentation next week. Please go on.